Well, you know what they say, the grass is always greener on the other side. Well, what if I told you your whole life you've been lied to? What if I told you that that greener grass isn't actually green at all? Fact. The amount of carbon dioxide emitted from lawn-related maintenance is four times the amount of carbon naturally collected and stored by the lawn itself. The only thing green about that is the American dollars that we spend on lawn care. Uh, and furthermore, gas-powered mowers are extreme gas guzzlers. Using the average four horsepower engine mower, cutting the grass for one hour can be equivalent to driving an average car for 100 to 200 miles. Say what? These things release more gas into the atmosphere than this morning's breakfast burrito. In agricultural terms, lawns are defined as a monoculture. This means that one type of species is cultivated over the entire landscape. This monoculture is created through the use of fertilizers, herbicides, and pesticides. From an agricultural perspective, cultivating one type of organism creates low resistance to environmental disturbances like hurricanes, tornadoes, or your dog's pee. Did you know that the term weed actually has no botanical significance? It just means a plant that is not valued where it is grown. What we think of as weeds are often the native plant species in the area. Examples of these are dandelions and crabgrass. But drenching plants in herbicides is not a sustainable way to solve the weed problem. Xeriscaping, which uses drought tolerant native plants to limit water and maintenance, can make everyone's life easier. Other options like organic fertilizer and composting are also effective. So what would an ecologically resistant, environmentally friendly lawn look? Something like this. But also, something like this. <sighs> so while owning a green lawn can be seen as beautiful and consistent with the American dream, as we continue to move towards increasing the sustainability of our society, as well as decreasing our global footprint, we must begin to consider alternatives. Besides, I'd much rather have a meadow in front of my house than some old typical green lawn.